G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new map uh, on this map here it's called I can't actually remember the name of it give me two seconds it's a 4x map for PC only uh, it is called Nandenthal in Canada so this one's probably going to be a little bit different than what we're doing on the Valley of the Old Farm. Uh, for a start, we're not playing with seasons. Uh, if we go down here to our settings, we'll change it to dollars because we're in Canada. Uh, up here in the settings, I should say. So seasonal growth, we are on no. I've still got it set to two days per month. Um, fixed visual month is in August and we've turned snow off. Uh, rest of them I just have set normally ploughing stones, lime, uh, weeds are off and crop destruction is off as well. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. We're trying to build a massive cow farm. Um, and when I say massive cow farm, we're probably looking in the vicinity of about 2,000 cows. Uh, we'll go over and take a look at the cow shed shortly. But not only that, we're also looking at doing 10,000 chickens. So, he's pretty much going to be a very animal based um, playthrough. Uh, I have been on here and got a fair bit of this set up. Uh, it took me probably about three hours to get it set up. Um, some of the things from the original map have stayed, but I've added a lot of other things in. Um, and got all the equipment that well pretty much all the equipment i think i need to buy a couple more things but that's not super urgent at the moment uh, i think i need to buy some something to do fertilizer whether it be solid fertilizer liquid fertilizer and i need to buy uh our lime spreading units as well but that won't be right now um so what we'll do is we'll either we'll jump in a little Kubota over here and we'll go for a bit of a drive so first thing we'll do is go and uh, check out our cow area the area that I've made just for our cow sheds to go in uh, as you see traffic is on sorry mate didn't mean to hold you up We'll come back and check out the farm and the equipment on the way back shortly. And then we'll go and check out our chicken um, husbandries as well. But we'll start off over here at the cow area. So, like I say, it's a 4x map. So, bigger than what we've been playing on on the Valley of the Old Farm. So, that'll be something a little bit different. I've uh, got horse play on as well and auto drive so while we do a bit of a playthrough uh, I'll be trying to figure out how to use those as well. So over here as you can see that's one cow barn right there and the other one is just here behind us. Uh, these hold a thousand cows each so our aim is to fill them up and have two thousand cows so we've got two silage pits there. Um, we have got a field of corn which is ready to be harvested so we'll chaff that up oh excuse me uh, chaff that up at some stage um, we've also got a field of wheat which is ready to harvest as well um, and first thing we'll be doing is baling that straw as well because we'll need the straw for our TMR mix so over there you'll see our little Silo King TMR mixer uh, it's got enough capacity to hold about 200,000 litres of TMR in it, so that's pretty cool. So we'll be able to mix all our TMR there. Uh, if we drive over here, we have got a couple of bits of equipment in this shed. Just give me a sec and we'll drive over. Alright, so if we hop out, we've got a little Massey Ferguson. Well, when I say little, it is a... Uh, seven, a 7726 Massey Ferguson 
with the front loader on it. Uh, a couple of bits of front loading tools over here. We've got a bucket which we'll need for cleaning out our manure and we've got a bale fork so when we bring our bales over we got two bale storage buildings over on the main farm uh, we can get bales out there bring them over here and use that to uh, put into our mixing work our mixer over there and over here we've got a Kenworth K108 I think it is yep 108 uh, that's got a water tank on the back of it so here can be a water truck but it also does um, do all liquids as well milk slurry that sort of stuff so we'll utilize that um, and if we start getting too much we can organize a trailer for it as well so that's pretty much the equipment that we've got <laughs> set up over here um, there's a water point ground behind the shed there and yeah that's pretty much it for this area um, what, what are we got down here nah, nothing really too much going on down here no so we'll shoot over and have a look at our main farm now you might might get a little bit glitchy as we go through the farm uh, I've got a heap of mods and equipment on so it is what it is um, there's a lot of things to compact in the area so over here we've got two big cultivators I'm pretty sure that's what these are the Borgo cultivators we've got a square bale uh, self-loading wagon so we'll be able to what I've decided to do with this episode, uh, this playthrough is none of the trucks are allowed to go in the fields so um, we'll be using that uh, bale loading wagon to pick the bales up out of the field stack them along the side of the field and then the truck can come along and pick it up and same as when we're harvesting it we'll be chasing combines with a grain cart and the trucks will be just sitting off to the side of the field so if we come over here and have a look at what we've got here, we've got a Case IH uh, baler. We've got a big crone uh, windrower. A 19 metre Pottinger tedder. And we've got the uh, Vicon um, front mower and butterfly mower as well. So that'll be mowing our grass and that we've got the tether for hay um, once again that will be for the TMR as well for the cow feed at the moment we don't have any um, grass in so the first thing we'll be doing is getting some field prep we've got a few crops in if we have a look at our map uh, just give me two seconds so here we are um, in our map we'll zoom right out and that is the full PDA uh, we're just a little section down in the middle here for now uh, for fields 47 46 45 44 and 43 uh, and we have got this little field which come with our house down here at 73 and that's the area we just showed you uh, we've got oat by the looks of it in that field there uh, sorghum in the next one soybeans sunflowers and that's our cornfield there so probably once the soybeans and um, sunflowers are harvested what I might do is plow that field together use that for our grass field uh, see what happens that'll probably be turned back into corn again um, and that way we can carry on chaff uh, we can get some silage going and while that's uh, fermenting we can get our next crop in and start getting that going so uh, we still always got plenty ready to go uh, these are all our grain bins here this is where our main crop will go uh, we ha I have put a multi fruit one in further down just in case but we won't be using that too much uh, two diesel tanks here um, we've got a lot of equipment to run so plenty of uh, diesel tanks there 
these two buildings that we've got here are the bale storage ones bale and pallet shed storage and i think they hold yeah 750 bales or pallets so they will get filled up quite fast on this farm uh what we'll do is we'll go and jump over into this shed here first and have a look so in this shed here we've got a 8740s massey ferguson uh, have a look behind us here we've got our crone forage harvester and that has got the uh, kemper 30 uh, 390 plus forage header on it so i think that's nine meters over here we've got two of the new horse avatar 12.2 uh 12.25 sd cedars uh with the extra seed capacity on the front of them over here we've got a fent black beauty and two quad tracks down the back there as well so Plenty of machinery on this farm. Like I say, it's pretty much got everything by those other bits that I said earlier. Um, over here we have got a special Rapid 8400 Shooter Maker um, loading wagon. As you can see, it's got windrows on the side. Um, it's also got a really big capacity, so if we need it for things, uh, like if our bale um, bale storage is full, uh, we can load this up and tip it into our multi-fruit silo. Uh, that won't be getting too much use to start with. Uh, two of the John Deere plows. Uh, let's see if I can get a name on them. Uh, it doesn't want to show up, but yeah, the, the fold-out John Deere plows, I think they're 12 metres. Uh, our stone picker. Uh, that one's got a modded capacity on it too, so that can pick up a little bit more equip, uh, more stones. Uh, forage wagon there that we're going to be using a little bit later on. So we'll um, tow that to chaff our corn, ready f to put into the bunker silos for silage. Over here we have got the Horsch Maestro 24.50 SV planters. We got two of those i figured with these bigger fields we'll need more uh, planting equipment and sowing equipment right, and then if we come down here to this shed we'll open it up and we've got two big john deere harvesters um, as you can see they've got fairly sizable grain tanks on them I think they hold just over 24,000 litres each. And these are the S790 series. And then we've got two headers to go behind them. Um, the HD50F headers. So we've got those. Uh, we'll come over here and have a look at our truck scenario. Got a few different truck setups in here. We've got another 108 uh, K108 set up for doing bulk goods. Uh, over here behind us, we have a 540 Volvo with a flat deck and a flat deck trailer. So they can be doing bale carting and pallet carting and a lot of other things as well. Quite versatile. Here's our grain cart, and here over here we have. A, uh, it's not going to tell us but I'm pretty sure that's a 90 Kenworth 90 with a uh, Lizard Superior end dump trailer 40 foot and I think that trailer there holds about 70,000 litres in it as well so that's pretty much the equipment that we've got on the farm like I say I do need to buy something for fertilising and a couple of um, trailers to do the liming with so on that note what we should do is jump into these harvesters and 
we'll get ready to take them out into the field and start getting our oat field harvested because uh, that's ready to go so the first thing to do will be get that harvested and bale the straw and then after that uh, we can move on to other fields and other jobs so give me a sec while I get these shifted into place and I'll see you shortly Alrighty, so here we are we've got our uh, two combines set up uh, one's over in the far corner of the field and one over here so we'll set this guy off on a workup make sure he's going to go and we want to see him drop the straw into the spot beautiful and we'll jump over and set this one off as well I'll fold them that's why they're taking so long Alrighty, so now we've got a, both our combines going and first field being harvested. So that's awesome. Uh, what we'll do is shoot back over here and grab us a tractor so that way we can run the grain cart. Uh, first thing we need to do though is pull a truck to the field. Uh, what we'll do is grab the 90 along those Kenworth and pull that over to the field and we can run a grain cart to that so we'll jump in this beast I don't know if we discovered that but we'll shoot over in a minute that's our chicken uh, sheds over there so they hold 5,000 chickens each so we'll go over and have a look at them in a minute let's get this truck put into place Right now that's in place we'll shoot over and grab us a tractor. Fair way to run. So yeah like I say uh, auto drive and course play I have got them installed. Uh, not that I've really used them before but uh, I will give it a go. Uh, if we get our Massey Ferguson because I want to run actually no we'll use the Fent because I'll run the Massey Ferguson on the baler and try and save our quad tracks for the majority of our field work whether it be the plowing, the cultivating or the planting or seeding So the Hall Master will hold about 70,000 litres, so it's not too bad. While we're here, we'll shoot over and show you our chicken sheds. At the moment we don't have any animals, but we will be getting them as soon as we can. It was my mistake, I thought that um, that field over there was wheat, but it wasn't. Turns out it's oats. Yeah, so that was my fault. But never mind, we'll get oats plant. Uh, we'll get wheat planted in there very shortly. That'll be the first crop that goes back in. Um, feeding the chickens right there. And if we open up the shed, come up here. Here's our animal dialogue. You can go right in. And egg spawn point is right here. So. We will need to get a skid steer or something at some stage as well just so we can uh, move the pallets out of here and 
make them easier to pick up with a either a truck or a flatbed trailer for uh, behind the tractors. Alrighty, so what we'll do is wait for this guy to uh, get back up to the top run of the field and get our first uh, bit of crop into the hallmaster and uh, start chasing combines. So we'll just wait here for him to come up and turn around and get ready to chase him. Alrighty, so here we are. Uh, I just had to edit that little bit out. We had a problem with the, uh, obviously a button conflict with the vent and the hallmaster. I couldn't get the cover open because it was doing stuff on the tractor. So we missed this combine. But what we'll do is we will head over to this one here who's just turning around now. No, we won't because his pipe will be on the wrong side. Of course it is. So what we'll do is we'll let him do his thing and catch up with him down the field. It does look like they are getting quite full though, so that could be the next problem. It's always the way when you try and do something, it doesn't want to work the way you want it to. But that's alright. That's the joys of the farming life. We'll just use this farmer's field to turn around in as well. Alright, so this time we'll sit here and wait for this guy to get back down here and then uh, start emptying some combines. Alrighty, he has arrived, so we'll just wait for him to do his turnaround thing. Hopefully it's not too close to that tree for him. Uh, well, he might start a little bit further up the field, which I don't know, he's not going to do. So I thought he might have. So we'll try and pull him beside him. need to put a slightly bigger uh, pipe on the combine, I think. So right, we just managed to get up to work, but after this harvest, I will uh, send them to the workshop and get some longer pipes put on them. I've got a notification to say that one of them had a 80% full grain tank as well, so uh, whether it was this one or the other one, so picking up the other one, he looks quite full from here. So we'll get this guy emptied, and I'd say by that stage he will be stopped. So we'll do a run down the field. Get a little bit close. Say you need to put those longer pots in so we don't uh, affect the header too much. Right, so he's pretty much empty, so we'll just leave him to his devices now. Just shoot over here to this other combine. Get him unloaded. It's like the old cool master's a bit big for this tractor. Tends to push it around a little bit. Alrighty, so this guy is looking very full.
We managed to get him before he stopped, so that was a good thing. Just drive along nicely beside him, get him emptied. So yeah, this series uh, isn't really about doing anything too serious, uh, it's just about having a bit of fun doing some farm work and working towards animals. Uh, our flatbed truck does have auto load on it, so because I'm quite, I've got a bit of OCD, I grew up around trucks, so I like them to be looking quite nice when they're loaded, and I'm not very good on a forklift, so uh, use auto load to get everything looking nice. Like I say, it's not really about anything too serious, just having a bit of fun and doing some farming. Alright, so we'll sit here till he is empty. So, so far off this field we are over 40,000 litres, so that's pretty good for a, a field that uh, needs ploughing, needs lime. I think it was quite well fertilised though, so that was a bonus. We'll head back over and get this uh, emptied into the truck and we'll probably see you once those uh, combines have finished doing what they need to do or unless I could uh, hop in our vent and go and pick up a baler and start baling some bales, baling some straw oh, too close Like I say, L, a uh, cornfield is ready to forage as well, but that will more than likely be in another episode. So that, that is emptying nicely into there. Get rid of that. Don't need that up at the moment. So that is just over 48,000 litres into that trailer already. Pretty happy with that. Right, so they should be right for a little bit longer. Uh, we will go run over here to the fence and go and pick up our case baler and start baling some straw. So yeah, it's going to be uh, a bit of a wild ride trying to get 2,000 cows and 10,000 chickens. So, like I say, we're not playing with seasons, so we can plant anything at any time when we need it. Uh, I'm not sure how long everything will take to grow. This will be the first map I haven't used seasons on as a playthrough. So we're using seasons over on the Valley of the Old Farm. So, just something a little bit different. What I'll do is drive back up to the top end. I was just going to drive back up to the top end, but we'll just start here. It's not going to matter too much. Turn it on, drop it down, and start baling up some straw. And just like that, the work has started on our new farm here in Canada. The straw is uh, the first piece of the puzzle towards the TMR. We'll get the corn chaff uh, probably in the next episode and that will be the silage getting ready as well. And then we just need to sort some grass. Uh, 
it looks like one of those combines could actually just about be finished. There is the first bale coming out. We have got our bale counter on. So we haven't, it says we haven't made one yet, but I think they count when they hit the deck. Uh, so they're quite decent sized bales by the looks of it. I'm not sure what they're set to. I've just bought it and uh, starting to bale. So. Uh, 82,250, uh, 8,250 litres of straw per bale. Nice, so what I'll do is try and intercept this guy before he starts. And we'll let the other combine finish off. Put the pipe out empty into the Hallmaster. One thing I do need to do is probably check on prices because if we can get it sold, we will sell it and make some money. Even though money's not an, really an issue at the moment, um, there's still a little bit of money in the bank account. Like I say, we still need to buy some equipment so that will disappear rather fast uh, if we have a look in the shop we'll go and have a look at what I was thinking not really anything in the used sales that we can use so uh, if I have a look in crop protection I'm thinking about uh, probably one of these pieces of equipment to do liquid fertilizer with um, probably go the new holland and then over here we will go down to fertilizer technology or fertilizer spreaders and we will probably use these ones here with the uh, spreading discs on the back for our lime so what we might do is buy them now Uh, beacon lights, we don't need to change them up. We don't really need to change anything on there, we'll just buy that. Oh, and I've still got store deliveries turned on as well, so that's alright. They will turn up at the farm. Um, I will get rid of that shortly. I had it there when I was uh, getting all the uh, equipment set up, it was just easy to buy it and get it delivered straight to the farm. So we'll put the extensions on there, uh, wheel setups, we'll run wide ties, and we will run spreading discs. So we'll buy two of those, and as you can see, we went from $400,000 down to thirty-two. So we need to start making some money to buy these animals. Let's combine over here out of the way for now. Uh, get that sorted shortly. And he's on the last strip over there. So once he's done, we'll get him emptied into the Hallmaster and get him sorted out. Oh, wrong button. We'll get some of these bales sorted out as well. Get some more of the straw baled up, I think. Mean. going to be finished that row fairly quickly actually. So yeah I must have these set to the highest bail uh, that it can be set to. That, the pickup on the front of that is actually quite narrow. Doesn't like getting the full width that's not too bad and as you can see course play tells us there is finished work as well as the the helper menu to tell us that that helper has finished his job rightio 
Let's run over here quickly and sort them out. Another 12,534 litres. Tells me it's 50% full, so that would suggest there's about 24,000 litres can fit in these combines. So we'll just get him emptied out, get it sorted so we can get ready to put it away a little bit later on. Hopefully what we've got here, the last of it will fit in the truck. If not we may have to uh, drive the tractor down to the silo as well. Actually I will check prices on that. Alright, go up to prices here and go to oats. Uh, January is probably the best price. It's actually not too bad at the moment. Uh, what have we got? 808 and 813. Uh, prices are dropping though, so what we might do is wait till they're on the up and keep an eye uh, for the best price. Uh, best price does get over a thousand so whether we can hold out we will if not we may have to sell it um, we'll just deal with that as it comes can't win them all when you're starting out if not we may have to uh, suss out a bit of a loan just to get some lime and seed <laughs> Uh, it's one thing that we haven't got yet either. What I might do is put down a buying station for lime. I uh, haven't really put down anywhere to crush stones to make our own lime yet. That may come but we need to buy lime to start with because this field needs ploughing and liming. So we need to get on to that. Alrighty, so hopefully this all fits. Looks like it's going to nice. I'd say that pretty close to filling that trailer up though. We jump over here and hop into the truck. Uh, 72,731 litres all up, 99% uh, filled the trailer, so the trailer must hold about 73,000 litres. It's pretty close, cut that pretty fine. So what we'll do is head down, dump it in our silo. And to be fair, I think I've just left the little Kubota side by side sitting in the middle of our yard probably still running after we did the uh, equipment tour at the beginning so never used this trailer set up before so hopefully that pipe won't be in the way when we go to dump Look at all that grain going into our silo. Beautiful. And we do have a fair bit of storage. We've got 
I think, uh, four, uh, we've got four, yeah, no, five smaller bins here, and four of, four of the bigger bins, is it four or three, one, two, no, three, sorry, of the bigger bins there, so, well and truly got plenty of storage. Alrighty, so that'll pretty much conclude uh, the first episode here on this map. Uh, not sure what I'll call the series yet, probably Canadian Cows or the Canadian Cow Farmer. I'm not too sure yet on the name, it'll be in the thumbnail anyway. Um, not too worried about that. I'll get the uh, rest of the straw baled up off screen so that's ready to be picked up uh, in the next episode and we'll get straight into uh, chaffing up our corn as well so that'll conclude it for here uh, hope you've enjoyed it leave a uh, message in the comments if you have or if there's something you may have done differently or anything like that and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers for watching.